So today we're going to be looking at the second car that I'm going to be showing you guys from the import and export DLC. And I don't know, I think this might be my favorite one actually. I mean, it might have bumped out that sort of Batman car which we had in our previous video. Because this one is insane. It's literally like, I don't know if you guys have watched the movie Incredibles. But it's this animated movie and it's about this like superhero guy. And he's got this car which has like a huge rocket on the back and you can just boost by pushing a button. And this car just reminds me so much of that movie, so that's what I really like about it, and what's amazing about it is the speed of it. I mean, the speed on its own without the rocket is kind of bad, but then when you use the rocket, it can catch up to almost anything, and you can have so much fun with this car and your friends online. I mean, you control people by, you know, doing what I'm doing now, just killing them, using the boost, making them go fly in the sky, it's awesome. And you can even go on the mountains, as you can see I did, it's even more fun. You can literally ramp across the map on the mountains. You can get from one side of the map all the way to the other side of the map, going from one mountain, hopping over to the next mountain like the flipping rabbits. So this car is amazing. I definitely think it bumps out the sort of jumping buggy car or flip car because this car is just insane. I mean, it can even last long. Like, I never mentioned in my previous video with the flip buggy that it actually, after 20 to 30 flips, it actually, like, you know, starts to give up on itself and it blows up. But this car can take any damage at all. I mean, it is just so powerful and it's so much fun to use. So, this is definitely my new favorite car. I'm gonna be spending my money on this car. And the specs about this car, I would say that the drifting is really nice because, you know, it was a car in GTA before they brought the sort of boost thing to it. So it's obviously got the sort of nice specs on it already in that. The handling on it is amazing. I mean, you don't get any slidey slidey on the road. You're not sliding all over the place, which is really nice. So this car, definitely the number one car from the update, I think, so far. Only the number one car from the War Shopping Carrier though. I haven't checked out the legendary motorsports cars, but this is definitely the new best. So now for the price range side of the vehicles. So if you haven't done the sort of mission thing where you get a discount on the vehicle by going and doing a mission by having enough stolen vehicles in your warehouse, then you are going to end up paying $3,830,400, which is a lot. That's close to $4 million. But if you have managed to do the mission, you've gotten a friend to go help you out with it, then you are going to be paying $2,880,000. Now that's a huge difference. So I would definitely recommend you guys go and get this mission done so you guys can save yourselves almost $1 million. I mean, that's a huge difference. But this is going to be the end of the video. I'll see you guys in my next episode where I'll be showing you the next vehicle that I'm going to be showing you from the update. You guys have been awesome and cheers, man. Just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home And my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home And my balls keep telling me to let me out